At some point we've all wondered why our damage rolls the way it does. Like why does your 400 alpha gun sometimes do 300 and other times 500? Well today I'm happy to tell you there is a method to this apparent madness and don't worry I've tried my best to make it all easy to understand but if you don't just leave a comment and I'll try my best to help. So firstly I'm just going to assume we all know what a roll is, you know, when you shoot someone it's the amount of damage you do to them. So for example if you've high rolled you've shot someone and done more damage than you would do on average. So you might just be thinking, well, aren't rolls just random? Well, there is actually a model they follow, which means that getting certain rolls is much more likely than others. But first, before we get into that, I need to lay some ideas and groundwork that will help us understand it better. It'll only take a minute. These things are average damage and the range of your rolls. So if we take a 120mm gun, just a typical tier 10 gun, it has 400 average damage, though sometimes it does feel a lot lower than 400. And its range is between 300 and 500, so if you shoot an enemy, this is with AP, it could uh, do anywhere between 300 and 500 damage. However, it is much more likely that the damage it will do is nearer to 400. And this is because your damage is not calculated completely randomly, however is normally distributed in this nice bell-shaped curve as you can see, and you're much more likely to do 400 damage than 300 or 500 damage at the ends of this bell curve, because the majority of the bell-shaped curve sits above this 400 damage mark. Well that's great and all, but how can you use this as a player to gain an advantage or better understanding of your roles? Well you can use a website like this, I'll leave a link to this one in the description, and let's say you're about to shoot a guy on 420 hit points but you really need to kill him in a single shot, but shooting HE could be quite risky. Obviously you're not going to whip out your calculator during the game, I mean, you could, but having a general idea of how your rules are calculated by like playing around with this graph and knowing a few values can really help you make the right time of selection clutch up those tight games. On the other hand, we can find out how unlikely it is you keep rolling below a certain value constantly with a bit binomial. Again, this happens to me way more than it should. So you might be asking yourself, how can you use this for any alpha damage? Well, on this website, um, you type in your values. Now you mean, that's just the average damage that appears in the garage. So uh, 105 milliliters will be 350, 120, 400, you know, just look at your tank in the garage. And the standard deviation, what you're going to want to do is get that average damage and divide by 12 and put it in. I've just rounded here. Um, and then once you've got that, it plots it for you. And as you can see, it's given us a nice graph for 350 alpha. And now what you can do is you can use this between option to find, say, the chance of rolling between 300 and 400 damage, you know, fairly typical roll. Or you could use this below option to find the chance of rolling below 300 damage would be really painful. On the other hand, you could use this above option to figure out just how lucky certain YouTuber RNG is. You know, when you watch their videos and streams and you see that in their FE 183s, they're rolling for 1,500 damage. You can use this option to figure out just how unlikely that actually is. There is one caveat to this, however, and that is, as you can see from the spell shape curve, it stretches off to infinity on both sides. But obviously in game, your damage is capped at certain values. So what it does is if it randomly calculates it using this model and it gets a value outside of your range, it just makes it the minimum and the maximum value. So say, you know, 400 alpha gun again, and the game decides it wants you to do 1,000 damage, which is technically possible. It would just lower that down to 500, which is the maximum amount you could do with 400 average gun. And if you sit down and observe your really high rolls, you will find that uh, minus the crew ability with the exclamation mark that allows you to do max damage, you, w you do max roll more than you just under max roll so in a 400 alpha gun you'll be doing 500 a lot more than you're doing 498 or 499 and that is a result as a result of this so i would really recommend going to this website plugging into values and just you know seeing what they're like because i did this and it genuinely i'm not just saying this because it's in the video it's genuinely really helped me um assess certain situations and know what ammo to shoot better so you might be wondering how I came across this. It's not anywhere in the game. It's not on Blitzhanger. It's not on Blitzstars. It's not anywhere that I could find online. I even Googled it. And what I did is I did what they do in the maths questions you read in school. I sat down, played my T57 Heavy, and recorded about 100 shots, and then sort of looked at it and see if it matched a model such as this using um, certain statistical tests. And it did. It matched incredibly well. And then I did the same with an STB-1 doing 350 alpha, and then I did the same with the WT, out of Panzer IV. And they all match. So based off that and my general observations of playing the game, you know, um, I would say this would fit all alpha damages, and I'm pretty confident with that. And you can test it, you can try. And if you do actually end up testing it with any of the alpha damages, please let me know because I'd love to see if it does actually fit everything. Even though I'm really sure it does, it would just be nice to see sort of confirmation, you know. And for anyone who's actually thinking about doing that, what I'd do is um, assume a model normally distributed with the mean of the average damage and the standard deviation is the average damage divided by 12, then record data like I've done on screen, and then perform a chi-squared good fit test on it, and then see if the data fits, and then you're done.
It's funny that I studied for the maths for two years and ended up using it on a metal box fighting simulator, but it was certainly very interesting and fun to have done this test, and I hope you've learned a good bit from it. So I'll, I'll leave it there, and don't forget to try out the website. It will really help you. Trust me.